Hey everyone, here's a look at COVID-19 news stories locally, nationally and globally. More cases of COVID-19 for BC and Dr. Bonnie Henry being acknowledged for the global experience she brings in dealing with pandemics as a result of more cases. Premier John Horgan has extended the state of emergency in BC for two weeks. The first state of emergency was put in place on March 31st. The Premier and his government have launched a helpline for businesses effective as of April 6th, as well significant steps for businesses and municipalities to help pay for employees' salaries and allowing municipalities to delay provincial tax remittances. There is 25% reduction in property tax bills on average and $700 million in total relief. Vancouver Mayor Kennedy Stewart has reached out to the Premier for $200 million in emergency funding, as well as TransLink, which is reporting losses at $75 million a month, has also reached out to the Premier and his government, and they're saying that they're working on a plan that will be unveiled in the coming week. The Bank of Canada announced that it is keeping its key interest rate target on hold at 0.25 percent, saying that it is effectively as low as it can go to combat the economic impacts of COVID-19. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's federal government is making changes to its COVID-19 programs to send emergency aid to seasonal workers without jobs and those whose hours have been drastically cut but who still have some income. The changes will also allow people who are making up to $1,000 a month to qualify for the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, as well as those whose employment insurance benefits have run out since the start of the calendar year. Trudeau also announced expansion to the Canada Emergency Business Account will now be available for any businesses that spend between $20,000 to $1.5 million on payroll. Trudeau also announced a plan to help small businesses pay commercial rents for April, May and and June. He launched a mental health web portal offering resources for Canadians as well will work with provinces in relation to long-term care homes. U.S. President Donald Trump has halted funding to the World Health Organization, accusing WHO of mismanaging the spread of the novel coronavirus and not acting quickly enough to investigate the virus when it first emerged in China in December of last year. He received worldwide condemnation for his move from health experts. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says U.S. President Donald Trump hasn't tried to get Canada to follow suit in cutting off funding to the World Health Organization as the coronavirus spreads. Trudeau reiterated Canadian support for the World Health Organization on Wednesday. Quote, I think what we need to remember is the path through this pandemic is to base ourselves on science. We will continue to work with experts both domestically and internationally, he said. President Donald Trump signaled Wednesday that he's prepared to support easing travel restrictions along the Canada-U.S. border sooner rather than later, although the feeling may not be mutual given the extent of the COVID-19 outbreak in the United United States. Canada is doing well in its efforts to control the spread of the virus, Trump said during his daily media briefing at the White House. While on Wednesday, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau made it clear that efforts to control the spread of the virus in Canada are likely to remain in place for several more weeks. And on Tuesday, the government tightened its self-isolation requirements for those arriving from outside the country's borders, making an extended hotel stay mandatory for anyone without a suitable quarantine plan. The total number of COVID-19 cases have surpassed 2 million as well G7 leaders convene to discuss the pandemic. Australia has extended its lockdown for another four weeks as well Prime Minister Narendra Modi has extended India's lockdown right till May the 3rd. And some news to keep an eye out for. President Donald Trump did say that he will be releasing guidelines on how to begin to reopening the economy. Mr. Trump insists he has total authority in the decision, but is authorizing the states to reopen their economies individually. He did uh, say that he will make the announcement after speaking to all governors, and uh, he is looking at longer or shorter timelines depending on the situation. Businesses around the world are shifting into overdrive to help 
health battle the coronavirus, providing everything from rubber gloves and ventilators to diagnostic tools and hopefully soon vaccines. While the pandemic continues to wreak havoc, large corporations and small businesses are developing creative solutions to halt the spread of the virus. Here is a look at a few of the organizations and what they're doing. Amazon, Jeff Bezos retail giant, invested $20 million in the Amazon Web Services Diagnostic Initiative, which aims to speed up the delivery of the COVID-19 test to the market. Procter & Gamble, the world's biggest consumer goods company, has committed over $15 million in product and in-kind donations to support COVID-19 relief efforts worldwide. Consumer goods giant is installing new production lines at five factories to make 45,000 liters of hand sanitizer a week. The company is also making face masks in China and will soon begin production at plants in North America, Europe, Africa and elsewhere in Asia. Armani billionaire Giorgio Armani's luxury fashion brand converted all production at its Italian factories to manufacture single-use medical overalls on March 26th. And Bacardi, the Bermuda-based spirits giant, converted production at nine production facilities in Mexico, France, England, Italy, Scotland, Puerto Rico, and the continental U.S. to make hand sanitizer. And Reliance Industries, billionaire Mukesh Ambani's sprawling company, is ramping up production of face masks to 100,000 a day, as well as producing protective suits and garments for India's health workers. The company's Reliance Foundation has set up COVID-19 wards in Mumbai and Lodi Valley 1. Those were a look at some COVID-19 stories taking place right now, as well as what's coming up and those that have happened. To watch Thurpin's videos as to what's happening, what's new, what's trending, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe.